Wanna know how I went from this to this in just four months? Then keep watching. Yo, Mr. Toimo, my name is Rayo, and I hope you're now all ready and motivated to start creating content. If you're not, then make sure you check out my latest video where I talked about how to find motivation to start creating content. But on this video, let's talk about growth on Instagram. Instagram is still one of the best platforms to start growing your own personal brand, especially if you're in the gaming niche, since my channel is more directed towards gamers, because it's one of the easiest platforms to start growing on when you have zero followers and get your first 100, 1000 or even 10,000 real engaging followers. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I grew my Instagram account from 0 to 10,000 followers in just 4 months. 100% organic, without using any ads, follow bots or paying someone to shout me out. And I'm gonna show you how you can do the same if you follow these simple steps. But I really want to emphasize here that I'm not some marketing guru on the internet with like 10 secrets to grow or something like that. I'm just a normal dude who's really passionate about gaming. And one of my dreams was always to just play video games all day and make a living from it. So I was lucky enough to just find out what works on Instagram and what doesn't. And I was able to grow somewhat decent following by just creating gaming content, by just consistently implementing some simple simple steps that I believe that if I could do, you could do it as well. And to be fair, it can take you a little bit longer than four months. It can take you even shorter amount of time. But one thing is for sure that if you do what I say here in this video, I'm 100% sure that you're gonna make it no matter what. So to start off, no matter how many followers you currently have, one thing is for sure, your profile page needs to look professional. And by professional, I don't, I don't mean it has to look like business-like. It doesn't have to make you look like you're a marketing guru, but you can have a professional looking meme page as well, if that's something you're into. That says your meme page is dedicated to posting the best memes there are on the internet and shows that you know what you're doing. For example, in one of my recent streams, by the way, I do stream every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. So if you are interested, interested in asking questions about content creation while I'm live, then make sure you follow my Twitch, link is down in the description. Now, back to the topic. In one of my recent streams, I went over one of, one of my friend's new Instagram accounts that he just made, and he asked me to help him out with some tips on how to grow. My friend himself is an ethical hacker, and on his new Instagram page, he wants to show other hackers how to hack ethically and legally. So one really exciting thing we did on his Instagram page is we made it look really professional we made it look like he's the expert on helping other people uh, hack hack ethically and legally so even if currently he has a very small following people already see it that he looks like somebody who knows what he's doing so if you want to see this then this is how his profile looked like before uh, we did change a couple things we changed a little wording here and there we added a call to action we added some emojis and this is how it looks right now so you can already see that this one here looks so much more attractive and better than this one just by doing some simple changes by the way my second tip comes from here when I zoom in on this if you read that whole sentence you see that my friend knows exactly who is his target audience and by knowing his target audience he can really easily come up with new ideas that attract those kinds of people so the big key takeaway here is that you need to know who is your target audience you need to know who are the people that you want to follow you who are the people that you want in your community and then just go ahead and make content for these people. Also, do you know what you can do right now to help me reach my target audience? You can hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm so more people that are interested in growing their Instagram pages can see this video. So now that you know how to make your profile look attractive to your new potential followers, we need to now figure out a way to have them engage with our profile. And obviously the best way to do it is to create lots of quality content. What I mean exactly by this is that you need to be consistent with your uploading schedule and 
The rule for the general rule for uploading on Instagram is the more the better. The more quality content you upload, the more potential you have for growth. It's pretty logical. If you are a busy person and you can only upload once per day or once per every two days, then that's fine. Anything less than that is not recommended when you are just starting out. The Instagram algorithm will just not push your content to more people if if Instagram doesn't see that you're being consistent with it. But ideally what I found is that the best way to grow for new accounts is to post around three times per day. Around that general area is when Instagram really starts pushing your content to other people. And I want to emphasize here that you really got to do that only when you're just starting out and you're trying to grind for your first thousand or your first 10,000 followers. Because obviously posting like three times, five times a day, it's not sustainable. It's really difficult. It takes a Lot of time and in long term it will just burn you out so this means that once you have your first couple thousand followers you can take a step back and you can start uploading only once per day or maybe a couple times per week because when you have already your first couple thousand followers you can rely more on just organic growth on my own account i posted three times per day until i hit 10,000 followers so this means four months straight and i'm pretty sure that was one of the biggest reasons why i hit that milestone so fast the next thing and this is the biggest reason or the biggest secret when you want to call it that way on what how i reached 10k followers so fast and that is thumbnails that's right i'm talking about the same thumbnails that you see on every youtube video and everyone on youtube talks about it so much but nobody talks about hashtags on instagram while they are actually really really important having thumbnails in your videos is one of the best ways you can boost your growth on Instagram. The reason they're so important is actually real simple. When we take a look at the explore page, what do we see here? We see hundreds of thumbnails. Now, when we browse the explore page, we generally notice the thumbnails or the posts that catches our eyes or our attention or interest. So in a simple way, if you make your thumbnails at least somewhat interesting, you will find that more people will find themselves on your page looking at your videos. And when I say interesting here, I don't mean that you need to make them really clickbaity and really lucrative like they are in YouTube, for example. And in fact, you don't really need to put in any effort making those thumbnails. You just need to make sure that once they see your thumbnail, they instantly understand what your video is going to be about. And that's it. To make it really simple for you, take a look at what a video looks like on an explore page without a thumbnail. It looks pretty boring and we don't know what's in the video, so we are not very likely to click or I guess tap on the video. And most probably we will just skip through this because there are a lot more uh, attractive content than this one here. Now, when we change the thumbnail to something simple like this, see how much better it already is. We talked about the importance of having a target audience and by creating simple thumbnails like this, you can help your audience find you much, much easier. All right, I understand we've talked about so many things now and it's a lot to take. I understand but i hope that you're still following what i'm saying because we do have a couple more topics to go over but before we do that if you find my content useful then make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on if you haven't yet uh, it's greatly appreciated and i really want to help you get started with your own personal brand so yeah let's get back to the video now all right so another thing people often overlook is hashtags hashtags are still working Although I do have to admit that in one of my recent streams, I talked in depth about uh, some hashtag uh, strategies and I later went on to do some more research and I actually found out that nowadays you don't really need that in-depth uh, strategy for hashtags. It's more simple now. And when a year ago you could pretty much shortcut your way into new followers via hashtags, they can't be used as a shortcut anymore, but rather they help Instagram understand what your content is all about so it can show your content to people with similar interests. But the good thing is the general rule still applies. You, st you should still use about 25 hashtags every post and make sure that four to six of these hashtags are really big with more than 1 million posts. And in the other end, you need to have four to six hashtags with less than 50,000 posts. And then you can have everything in between that and obviously make sure all of those are related to your content. Next thing. Follow, unfollow. You've probably heard about this and it's kind of in the gray area, uh, but if you ask if you should do it when you're just starting out with zero followers, then my answer is yes. 
because I know how hard it can be to reach your first 100 or 200 followers when you're coming from zero, you're coming from nothing. So by doing a little bit follow and follow, it can definitely help. But please make sure that you don't use any follow bots, don't use any like bots, don't use any bots at all. If you use any kind of bots on Instagram, you will 100% later regret this decision once you realize that you have a bunch of empty followers you have no real engagement and you have no way of doing of making any human connection on your instagram page if you don't know what follow on follow is or you just want to know more about it then it's basically a way to get your first 100 or 200 followers by finding people in your target audience, engaging with them and following them and hoping that maybe some of them will follow, follow you back and eventually they will. If you follow f like 400 accounts, uh, probably 25% will follow you back. So it's a pretty easy way to get that initial following. And once you have your first 100, 200 followers, then you can just unfollow these people or even earlier than that. You gotta remember that the general rule with follow unfollow is that you shouldn't follow, you shouldn't unfollow, like or comment more than 25 accounts in one hour. Otherwise Instagram will see this as suspicious action and it will kind of block your activity for one hour or maybe a couple of hours. So make sure that you spread your follow unfollow tactic uh, throughout the day and just take it slow and steady. Doing this, you should have your first 100 followers in less than a week. That's already a really positive start. While follow and follow is great for that initial following, it doesn't really help you long term because not only is it not sustainable, but it's also on the line of is it okay to do it or is it not? You generally just want to move on from this as quickly as possible. And the best way to do it while making sure that your account is still growing is to actually create, actually create great connections with people. Engage with your audience. Make sure that you reply every DM you get. Make sure you reply on every comment you get on your posts. And generally just reach out to people in your target audience and connect with them. I had a rule until I reached 10K that I will reply to every single DM and every single comment I get. And I did, and I think it helped people see that I'm actually a real person and not just a robot who just up only uploads content. And it made people to want to engage with my content more and more. Another tool to create connections is via Instagram stories. Doing Instagram stories is the perfect way to show people your personality. Show them behind the scenes, ask them questions, be real and be you. Being yourself is the best way you can ensure that not only will people follow your account, but they will also become part of your own community and after all that's why you're here you want to build your own community because you want to be surrounded by the people you enjoy spending time with and you want to have fun while doing what you love that said it was a longer video than usual i hope you enjoyed it if you did make sure to like and if you haven't yet then make sure to subscribe with the notification bell on as well so you don't miss my future content if you like to learn more about creating content and building your own personal brand and as always Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. GG.